Of course, it is a big night here in the city of Philadelphia as the first presidential debate taking place between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. And they are in their closing statements right now, so things are wrapping up. Let's check in and see how the night has gone. We're joined now by Dr. John Kennedy, a professor in political science at the department there at Westchester University. And Professor, we know all eyes, of course, on the city of Philadelphia. Millions watching this historic debate that could determine who will be the next president of this country as you watch this tonight unfold what stood out to you about their maybe interactions and also any key takeaways on key issues that they addressed tonight sure <clears throat> thanks for having me I I think right from the beginning uh, the vice president was able to lean in on her prosecutorial background uh, and I, I think I think from you know thus far uh, I, I think her team really has to be pleased with how it's unfolded uh, I think uh, the, uh, the 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 former president has uh, been on the defensive for much of the evening um, and and I, and I think overall uh, the the debate itself I, I believe um, is probably one in which the the moderators I think have done a very good job and I also think that the format as opposed to the first debate is a little more a uh, little less stilted and, and I think that's uh, it's made for a better debate overall. Well as each candidate you know came into this tonight surely there was a game plan. How do you think the candidates did in delivering their messages? Do you think it landed with voters? I, th I, I think I think the, the former president Donald Trump started off fine uh, but I do believe he got thrown off a little bit uh, when uh, when Vice President Harris commented on the size of his rallies and <clears throat> I don't think he really recovered uh, to be honest with you uh, and, and I think uh, you know it, it, it sort of devolved when, when, the, when the former president began talking Talking about you know cats and dogs in a very un, 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 un healthy way, uh, and, and I think that's probably maybe what we'll perhaps most remember about the debate. Um, you know, going you know going into the future. And Professor, we have just a small amount of time. Sure. Just um, everyone will walk away with their own opinion about uh, who won this debate tonight. Did you see a clear winner? I, I, again, I think uh, the. Listen, everybody, you know, both sides are going to feel probably that their side won. But I think overall, and you're looking at the swing voters, I think this was an opportunity for the vice president to, to, to really introduce herself to the American people. We, we, uh, you know, Donald Trump's been a dominant figure in American politics for the last decade. People know, you know, there are sometimes outlandish comments and such. People know what to expect. So it was really about her. And, and again, from that perspective, I think she, she and her team has to be pleased. Uh, I don't think she certainly hurt her campaign. And, and I think probably she comes out a little bit ahead. Yeah. Okay. As you see it, your insight is appreciated. Professor John Kennedy joining us here on Action News. We're back in just a moment.